Hey, it's Stu. How you doing? We're going to have some fun tonight. I'm grilling some salmon. We're having a salmon extravaganza at Stu Leonard's on Wednesday. Do is flip this over. So what I did, I have three types of salmon that are on sale. We have wild caught sockeye salmon from Alaska right here. $12 a pound on sale. This is farm raised. Most people, you hear farm raised, they're like, eh. It's regulated now for how much space each one of the salmon gets to swim. So they're very spread out. And also the feed is very important. I've actually eaten some of this feed. It, it's all natural. They add some anchovy to it, vitamins, minerals. You're gonna get more omega-3s and omega-6s than you are out of a sockeye right here. I have no problem eating farm raised. This is every day about $10 a pound at Stu Leonard's right here. And this is one that cedar plank right here. So that's farm raised cedar plank. It's marinated a little bit. Onion, some garlic, some citrus. So it's like a citrus salmon. This is $4.99 for this. It's six ounces, 13 bucks a pound. The most expensive at 13. There are great prices on this. What I'm gonna do tonight, first of all, I'm in love with this olive oil that we're getting. Really super delicious, grassy. And I'm just gonna spray the side of each one here. If you wanna put some maple syrup on it, do it like a citrus ginger. It, it goes fantastic. Uh, what we do is basically take the Herb de Provence. I can't find out where the bottles went. Great blend of herbs right here. Nice, soft uh, flavor of the herbs. Our family does just dab it with some crushed red pepper. Not too much. Gives it a, a little bit of a, a pop. Okay, look at that. We got it dressed up, ready to go. I'm gonna walk out and just lay it on the grill outside. I wouldn't recommend this. Skin down. There we have it. About 375 degrees right now. We'll be back in about 10 minutes to check this out. Now let's go down to the wine cellar. Okay, that's a fun part. <laughs> Is that the coolest thing right there? Hey, wait a minute. Come on, open up. Okay. It's a little messy right now, but most wine cellars are. I haven't been to one that isn't. Once again, we got our top 20 wines, Lake Pitamel. Look who we uh, recruited in here today. Live from my pajamas, everyone. <laughs> this William Cole Pinot Noir from Chile. Pinot Noir and salmon are a classic pairing. It's from a region called the Casablanca Valley, which is often referred to as Chile's Burgundy. It gets those really nice warm days and cool nights. This is gonna be medium bodied, and it's gonna have some really nice kind of raspberry and red fruits in it. Got a great rating from James Suckling as well, I believe 90 points. Really good value buy coming from Chile, under $15. Nice pour. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Because it's a cooler climate Pinot Noir, it's gonna be a bit more lighter body than Pinot Noirs you might drink from California. Smooth, fruity, just say berries, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and you're right, whether it's blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, yeah. doesn't have a lot of pucker to it, just a real rich, fruity wine, but it's not sweet. It'd be a really delicious wine with turkey as well. I mean, if you ask any chef, what's the best wine to serve yeah. at Thanksgiving meal with? Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, yeah. hands down. Cheers, everyone. Uh, probably spend a little too much time in the wine cellar. Just like you're doing a bronzino in a restaurant. Just peels off really easily. What? Oh, there we go. Not perfect. You can see we got some nice grill marks. Flip that. And here's our cedar plank. We're gonna go in and taste them. I'll give you a little uh, recap. See, that's nice and flaky. Look at the color difference between these two. Really tasty sockeye right here. Definitely drier, definitely more flavor. To the cedar plank now. Mm. Wow. Very juicy. I mean, I'd say if you're gonna serve this, people are gonna go, wow, it's really good. Don't listen to what anybody says about farm raised. What I would recommend, you buy it from a good retailer or a good fish store. Because there is great farm raised salmon. It almost could be considered organic. There's no antibiotics, no hormones, all natural food. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Kim, what did you put together here? One thing I forgot to mention, lights out, phenomenal accompaniment to any fish that you're doing. This mango salt, we make it fresh at the store, all natural ingredients, a rock star. We're gonna just have a great dinner tonight.
Cheers.